The Empire had many security agencies including the Imperial Police, the Shock Troopers, and the Imperial Intelligence, but none were ever as feared as the Imperial Security Bureau or the ISB. Unlike the other mentioned policing forces, the ISB was tasked with rooting out disloyalty among citizens and preventing instability in the galaxy. The ISB was created directly by Emperor Palpatine after the end of the Clone Wars. Its main task in the beginning was to crush any remaining Separatist and dissident behavior. Remaining Separatist sympathies were to be rooted out and extinguished by any means. They looked into every aspect of day-to-day -day life, even art, as they arrested artists for not complying with regulation. Five years into the Empire's reign, Imperial Intelligence found a cache of communication devices on the backwater planet of Morkana. They referred it to the ISB, and the Emperor and the Imperial Ruling Council deliberated to make a decision. After much argument and thought, the Emperor gave Wilhuff Tarkin and Darth Vader jurisdiction to investigate, to the dislike of the ISB. On the planet of Zepho, the ISB was tasked with defending Imperial equipment for the Empire's Project Yuga, which was a plan to excavate ancient artifacts on the planet of Zepho. It was largely a failure. Fifteen years after Palpatine declared the Empire, the ISB took an interest in a rebel cell located in Lothal. They sent Agent Callus, one of their best agents, to crack down on them. The Lothal-based Spectre cell was especially troublesome as they frequently raided Imperial outposts and caused disruption. ISB Colonel Wolf Ularen grew increasingly interested in a shadowy pirate figure called Night Swan. Night Swan had supported insurgent groups and had a large ring of spies in the Imperial capital. With the help of Grand Admiral Thrawn and Governor Price, they revealed the Coruscant spy ring. After Agent Callus' defection, he began to send the Spectres critical information, but Thrawn eventually caught wind of his deception. After Mon Mothma's condemnation of the Emperor and resignation from the Imperial Senate, the ISP issued an alert for her and looked to arrest her. They visited the Cantham House which Mon Mothma frequented and interrogated the Senators there including Leia Organa. After a second Death Star exploded at the hands of the Rebellion, the ISP was left in disarray only being revived later on by the First Order as the First Order Security Bureau. The ISB worked most closely with its sister agency, the Imperial Intelligence, but they also worked closely with the Imperial Navy. The ISB's headquarters was located in the Federal District of Coruscant. They were headed by the Imperial Security Council, which was feared among Imperials. Agents were taken from the Imperial Academies, which normally produce officers for the Empire, but the ISB was specifically handpicked promising recruits. The ISB created a special vocabulary that only those in the ISB would understand. For example, auditing meant the target knew they were being investigated, and provoking someone to commit a crime was called crust busting. High-ranking ISB agents had unprecedented power in the Imperial hierarchy, being able to override civilian and military authority. There was even a special unit in the ISB called loyalty officers who were trained to ensure loyalty to the Empire. So this is the history and the organization of the ISB. Thanks for watching the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment down below. This is Entertainment Crew, signing.